Hey, what's up everyone? Good morning. Welcome back to Modern Physique. In today's AM session, we have a brutal chest and shoulder workout in store for you. It's going to be brutal, it's going to be painful, and like always, it's going to be fun. So for the first exercise, we're going to start with a flat bench press. We're going to go nice and slow. First set is going to be a warm-up set, no weight on the bar. We're going to go with a nice, slow, eccentric descent. Squeeze on the very bottom, have a nice gentle pause, and then explode on the way up. Just do one more warm up set, adding a little bit more weight, still keeping the slow tempo, having a nice squeeze on the bottom, and an explosive release. warm-up is done and we're now ready to get some real work done now the number one mistake that I see here all the time is people just focusing on the weights and not really doing proper technique bouncing off their chest just ego lifting we're not doing that here today we're gonna we're gonna focus on slow eccentric descents really squeezing our fibers on the way down pausing on the bottom just a gentle tap we're not too focused on the weight. Slow descent. Squeeze that chest. And slow on the way down. I went ahead and dropped the weight a little bit. See? I want to work within the 10 to 15 rep range. Anywhere from 5 to 30 reps is effective, but for me, I get the best results within that 10 to 15 rep. It gives me good, gr good growth, good strength, and avoids any shoulder pain. So I just decided to just drop the weight a little bit and just keep on knocking down more reps. This style of training is commonly known as drop sets, where you start at a heavier weight work to your failure and then you immediately drop the weight and continue going until you fail again and it it's a very effective way of working in your failure zone and getting much more volume in three drop sets of bench press and our chest is cooked it's time to move to dips. When it comes to dips, we're also going to focus on that slow eccentric pause. We're going to go down real slow, squeezing our chest and our triceps. We're going to lean slightly forward to make it a more chest activated movement. We're going to go down real slow and we're going to go up explosive. One thing that I like to do here is going down real down, all the way down to my neck and do a soft pause on the bottom. I feel that this stretches out both my tricep and my chest insanely. However, while it is important to go all the way down and get a deep stretch, if you do go all the way down and you feel any discomfort in your shoulders, make sure to adjust your position accordingly. And 
after three sets, we're done with dips. Time for some cable flies. As always, big chest, slow eccentric release, pausing on the stretch, feeling your muscle actually tear apart with that slow painful stretch. This honestly is what's going to cost most of your hypertrophy. another exercise that I love to do either myo reps or drop sets. In this case, I opted for drop sets. Now you may have noticed the handles that I'm using for these flies and the handles that this dude is about to hand to me and you may be asking why am I using those handles specifically and not these honestly it's just for grip I rather these for my grip they don't rotate it allows me to stay more stable and produce just more power but honestly whatever you like better whatever works for you go for it remember to keep your chest big wide and open squeeze on the way up keep your back and your chest up don't hide your chest don't make it easy make it harder you want to make it harder for yourself Another pro tip that I like to do here is I like to step out as forward as possible without hurting my shoulders. This really lets me stretch my chest out with the most tension possible, really feeling that squeeze and getting a really insane pump. chest is cooked overhead tricep time
do I even have to say it? Slow, eccentric descent. Squeeze your muscle on the way down. Nice, soft, gentle pause on the, on the bottom. And then explosive release on the way out. Cable, anything cable related, cable flies, tricep push downs. The majority of cable work also is fantastic for doing mile reps and for doing drop sets. In today's workout, we're doing mostly drop sets. So let's get it done. So I decided to add a brutal twist. Instead of drop sets, we're gonna superset with close grip push-ups. Right now, our chest is fatigued. We have done so much chest work that it is, it is done. Adding this now, just to superset it with the triceps, is gonna give us an insane pump in our triceps, and it's gonna give us an insane pump on our chest. This combo is the ultimate finisher. We're gonna do this one more time, one more superset, and then uh, we're probably gonna go lie down and die. Another pro tip, on every exercise, once you're feeling that you're getting to that last rep, whatever rep range you're working in, either one rep in reserve, two reps in reserve, or going all the way to failure, make sure that that last rep, you squeeze on the way down and you go super slow, as if you were about to do another rep. That super slow eccentric on that last descent is gonna hurt so much but it's gonna create so much muscle growth. And that was today's AM workout. I really hope you guys liked it. I really hope you guys were able to follow along. And I hope to see you guys for the next one. Have an excellent day, you guys.